friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion and we are coming to you from Dallas, Texas. What are we doing in Dallas? Well, they're having sneaker con. Since I was a kid, I have loved sneakers. I've loved the design, the different ways that they make them look, just everything about them. And I don't collect them to resell them or anything the way some people do as an investment, but I just love to collect sneakers to wear. And I want to see what a sneaker con was all about. So that's what we're going to check out today. Plus, kind of helps that Ric Flair is going to be there signing autographs. And I actually have a limited edition pair of Ric Flair shoes that I would like him to sign. So let's go check this out. Days with Jordan the Lion. You all, it begins right now. And I had damn good breakfast to start out the day here at Buzz Brews. So since it's a sneaker convention, I took the opportunity to bring some of my favorite shoes to wear. Yeah, I'm going to swap shoes halfway through the day, but I'm going to start with my Chris Paul 9s infrared blue. I love these shoes. Going to start the day with some old shoes and then halfway through switch over to these. These are new Air Jordan called Matadors. Luca Matadors. And these are the Ric Flair shoes that I want to get signed. Kind of crazy pair. These are Damian Lillard Adidas but they did a special edition with Rick. Looks like there's still a line, so they either haven't opened yet or they're getting ready to. It starts here and I noticed it goes around two sides of the building. Everybody's bringing bags of shoes to trade, sell. Now we rounded the corner and it's still going on down here. Wow, that line is massive. It's gotta be a couple thousand people. All right, so we've been in line here for about a half an hour. It's been moving a little bit, but it wraps all the way around up here, comes back into where we are, and then continues to go all the way back into the parking lot. Big line. So from the time they started the line to the time we get in, it'll be about an hour. All right, yes, it was right around an hour, but we are in. They're gonna have authenticators here, of course, people selling out of stock shoes, what they call dead stock, and, um, and then people that have shoes that are used, they've cleaned them up a little bit, and they'll be walking around trying to sell them to other people. So kind of what I'm really into right now are just Air Jordan 1s. I really like Air Jordan 1s. Those are pretty cool ones. A little like baby size. Holy cow, is it like Newton? And yeah, somewhere Ric Flair is going to be here. I got to get him to sign those shoes. And I brought uh, a better quality belt than I got for my birthday. I got a really good one I want to have him sign it. They're going to have influencers here also. So you can see, actually, this is the Nature Boy booth. And look at these shirts. I'm going to have to get one. And over here they have a wheel that you can spin and you get a mystery prize, mystery pair of shoes or something. See old sports jackets, old Stone Cold Steve Austin shirts. Over here people are just lining up, showing this guy their shoes and he's buying like every pair. Telling him a quote and take it or leave it. This place is cool. Retro kicks have all kinds of kind of rare shoes. Headstock. Oh, there's an old classic. So I mentioned that people buy these for an investment, and, and it's very true. There's a site called StockX.com that you can go on, and people will be selling their shoes, and they change prices daily, sometimes hourly, just based on taking offers for certain sizes. If someone accepts a lower offer, it'll lower the value of the shoe, and then if someone lists it higher and someone buys it for that, they go up. So kind of interesting. And these guys are apparently pretty famous sneaker social media guys. Here we have mystery boxes. Pay 300 bucks and you can win. 
pair of ones. Every box comes with a dead stock pair of sneakers. So this is Nesquik Customs. Looks like people are customizing their shoes here. What do you have to do? Like buy the shoes first, and then they said no. They'll actually give you one shoe, and you get to design it and keep the one shoe. Puma. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I've been with them. The the got the Nestle bunny on there. Oh yes. I really like these though. Legos. Make your own Lego sneaker with the Air Jordan tag on it. So I've seen these for a while. These are pretty cool. Kind of like iridescent. I think these are the Fresh Prince Air Jordans. It's weird that the Nesquik bunny is here when he doesn't wear sneakers. I'd love to know what his favorite pair is. Never seen these before. Never mind. I was gonna try to show you guys. Okay, that's unique. Flower planters. Let's see what this giant inflatable thing is all about. Looks like a big like demon with a shoe. It's actually a shoe company. Interesting. Never seen them before. All right, they just set up the stanchions as I was walking by for the Ric Flair line. They actually said it's going to be free. They've got his throne set up right there. Soldier boy. Take a look at these. Those are insane. 
with the clear strips in them, all the way through the shoes, too. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I'm going to take a look at these. The Jolly Green Giants shoes or something. Crazy, can you imagine walking through mud puddles with those? Check out all the rugs. Oh, I see a Crooks and Castles one. Some wheeling and dealing going on here. I'm checking out this brand. I've never seen these before, but I like them. Kind of the lightning bolt instead of the Nike swoosh. I think those are pretty cool. I mean, their general style and everything, I really like what they're doing. These kind of remind me of the Flint Tropics. What the heck? Thank you, Ric Flair, and thank you, Wendy. They, she helped make this happen. Rick wasn't signing autographs today. They made a special exception for me. And uh, she said, she's, I see you everywhere. So it was really cool. He signed my shoe, Nature Boy Ric Flair, and check out my belt. My big gold now says Nature Boy. Woo! Really cool. When I uh, when I was back there talking to him, he was really nice to me. Very, very nice. So I'm going to tell you guys kind of a funny story that happened while this was all going on. Um, <laughs> as I was standing there, Wendy had said, hey, hang out till the end, and then Rick will sign your stuff backstage. Eric Singer from KISS called me. I know it's going to sound like I'm name dropping, but he called me to talk, and while we were talking, he's telling me college football scores, and Rick could hear, because I was about 10 feet away from Rick, and Rick starts yelling scores back and forth to Eric Singer, and next thing you know, uh, Eric was inviting Rick to a KISS concert. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a lot of cool shoes, a lot of shoes I would like to own, but then a lot of them, like I said, you know, because they're dead stock shoes, they'll be like between $500 and $1,600, so I don't think I'm gonna buy any shoes on this one. I got these from DJ Khaled himself, man. No kidding. Yes, sir. Dude, those are great. Space City Collective, Houston, Texas, baby. Like I really love these blue, but the other issue is sometimes, you know, cause I wear 12s, you can't find them in those sizes. A lot of the shoe companies make a lot of eight through 10 and a half. And then once you get above that, they're harder to find. So the other cool thing about coming to sneaker con, you know, other than you can pretty much find every pair of shoe that you've ever wanted. You can get a discount price sometimes, make deals with people. But one of the other cool things is that they have sneaker doctors here. So you can bring old shoes, 10 year old, 20 year old shoes that maybe the glue it has worn out or the rubber's falling apart and they can fix that stuff and repaint them for you. See, this guy's not even a dealer. He's just like a dude that brought all of his own shoes and a bunch of moving boxes and hoping to make some cash. He's got some interesting stuff. It's crazy what a mega force Michael Jordan has been in this industry. I mean, before Michael Jordan, there was really nobody that was putting their name on sneakers, had an endorsement deal like that. Now, Air Jordan makes him so much money. I mean, it's like, that. when I think of sneaker collecting, I mean, I pretty much think of Air Jordan. Let's take a look at some of the rarities over here. One of the things I like to do, actually on the Nike site, you can design your own. And they only charge you like an extra 10, 15 bucks usually. You can pick all the colors that you want for each section of the shoe. If you want the tongue of this one to be blue and you want the, the sole to be red, you can choose that. And here's all the easy stuff. So at this point, I've been here about five hours and uh, there goes the drone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just, it's a crazy world. It's, I'm learning a lot about sneaker collecting, seeing everybody here work and wheeling and dealing. Grateful Dead. And don't worry, this is not just for men. I've seen just as many ladies out here buying sneakers and matching handbags to match their sneakers. Oh, wow. Two 
Chiefs, I think sevens. Wow, look at the throwback sun shirt. Charles Barkley, Dan Marley. Yeah, that was a team. Lasted 65 bucks for that. Like, see, I really like these, and we've, we've, I've shown you these. They have them, I wear 12s, these are 13s, they're used, and they're asking $7.50. That's the sneaker world. So now I just found a brand new pair, they're called the Cactus Jacks, $1,500. And these are size 13 also. We're actually doing haircuts here? There's a line to get haircuts? I need a haircut. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get a haircut here at Sneaker Con. Two on one. As he's petting my hair, here's Soldier Boy. So I think we're gonna call it a day. My first sneaker con is done. They're gonna close up the doors here in about half an hour. If it was something new for you, it was definitely something new for me. I enjoy checking out something different. I'm not a sneaker head in the way that some of these people are, but I definitely love getting new shoes and I love kind of that feel, seeing the new designs. So this was a cool day. And I got a haircut. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great night. Thank you.